So, so far, I have only asked you to read code. I'm now going to ask you to fix errors in some code that I have given. And this, I'm sure you're aware, is a process called debugging code. Now, if you ever look into the history of debugging, how that word uh, came about, you'll probably, uh, you know, see this picture. It's a very famous one of a logbook uh, that's at the Smithsonian. And it says, it's, a, it's actually a moth, uh, and it says this is the first actual case of a bug uh, being found. Uh, and there's a story connected with a very famous person in computing. Uh, and it turns out that the story, uh, that this is the first use of the word bug to describe an error in a program, although it's a nice story, it turns out that that's not really true. That's actually a myth. Uh, the word bug uh, to describe errors in systems goes back uh, much earlier than this, but it's a nice story and you might find it amusing. In any case, uh, let's take a look at some buggy code and let's try and fix those errors. So for context, you may remember these formulas from school, right? These are from your distance, speed, time formulas. So if you remember, V is your final speed, U is your initial speed, A is this uniform uh, rate acceleration, S is the distance, and T is the time. So there's some formulas, which, as I said, I'm sure you're familiar with, and I'm going to give you two ways of calculating S, the distance, based on uh, some of the other quantities. So here are two uh, C functions. So the first function, uh, distance one, uh, it returns a double because we're calculating real values. Um, and it takes as argument uh, three doubles. So this is the first new thing we are seeing. On line 1 and on line 5, you will see that we are declaring functions that take multiple arguments. So far we have only seen functions that take a single argument. Here these functions take multiple arguments and it turns out that both these functions take three arguments and in both cases uh, all three arguments are doubles. Now, notice the rules of C programming, and you have to follow these rules. Even though all three variables are of the same type, uh, you have to separately specify the type. So I have to say double U on line one, double U comma double A comma double V. I can't say double U comma A comma V or something like that. That's just turns out to be illegal C code. So you have to follow the rules of C programming. Uh, the, the language says that if you have multiple uh, arguments, then you must give a type for each one of them, even if that type is common amongst all the arguments. So the distance uh, one function takes uh, the initial speed u, the acceleration, and the uh, final speed v. And if you look at your formula, uh, you can see that what the expression that it's returning is v square. So I have to write it as v times v. So the star represents multiplication. So v square minus u square. And that whole thing is in brackets, of course. And then divided by 2a, because the formula is uh, a simple. It's a simple transformation of the given formula to calculate the distance s given uh, u, a, and v. So that's the first function. It looks obviously correct, but perhaps it has an error in it. That's what I want you to figure out. Similarly, the second function, distance 2, uh, we are given u, a, and t. And now we use the second formula. And this is just a direct application of the formula. Uh, the distance s is u times t. That's what I have on line 6, uh, plus half a t square. Uh, so I just write that as half times a times t times t. So both these functions seem obviously correct, but it turns out there are bugs in at least one of them, possibly both. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to um, run this experiment, and the code that I have given you 
uh, allows you to run both these functions, distance 1 and distance 2. And you might find that for certain inputs, uh, these um, two functions give different answers. Now remember, uh, maybe uh, the, both of them are wrong, or maybe only one of them is wrong, but there definitely is at least one error uh, in this code that I have given you. So have fun trying to find exactly where the errors are, and we'll discuss in the next lecture.